Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this short episode, I'll show you how to use emojis in SharePoint communication sites, um, team sites, and uh, Microsoft Teams. So the first option of adding to navigation, you see I added an, um, a house to the home page and to HR I added a person and to the sub links also some things. So how do we do it? I mean, what we need first to know is how to get to the emojis. So uh, if we press the window key and dot in Windows 10, we will get to the emojis. So I will go and edit this uh, top navigation and uh, go click the three dots, edit. And now in the display name, I'll press Windows and dot. You see, I can choose from emojis that are here or I can search and so I look for a key. I found the key, it added it here. And now for the sublink three, I have an emoji, which if I send, press save, I will see it was added. So the first option, as I mentioned, is the navigation. Second option is within a document library. So even when you create the document library, you can add an emoji. Next option is to create a folder. So I will go and click new and folder. And now I will choose an emoji. I chose the emoji. I'll give a name it's folder three. And now it's added. So for folders, I can add an emoji. I can add also for a document. See, I uploaded a document with an emoji. And even for a link, I uh, put the emoji before. Additionally, we can also add it to the metadata. So what I can do is I can choose this on a column. This is a date. So I'll call it like that, you. And I will search for a calendar icon. I found something I like. It's now added here and now you'll see the emoji it's black and white no color but you can see the same so also for the metadata you can add it and it gives more um, oh the, the person that's filling out or working can understand what is the column so uh, we talked about document libraries also for lists it's possible to do so I created a list sorry I created a demo list and you see here um, for each it item I uh, act actually can even add uh, emoji. I do test. You see the item has the emoji. Also the columns I added a status with a this icon and responsible with a face. So um, this is actually what we, we can use. Third option is also for pages. So you see this page I created and I added an emoji in front of the name and now uh, it exists. Now, uh, the last thing I wanted to show you is actually in Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams, actually we can create a blank. If we are on a team that's called demo icon, then I can create a new um, channel that is has a name and an icon so I added the icon and uh, let's call it uh, test 2 and now for the channel I have the, the, the emoji also I added for the name of the team an icon now for the tabs of the channel I could also add a name so if I choose for instance document library and choose one of those and I can also uh, give a name to the tab so instead of document library let's call it uh, with this icon and if I save then now um, this icon exists you see that also in this case also the document library has um, the folders with icons and uh, links and documents um, 
it's a very nice tool even for navigations but uh, I recommend not to use it too much because it will um, be too colorful and not professional but sometimes if you want uh, to give a meaning either to a, a link or to a tab or a channel uh, then uh, it's recommended uh, to help the user to understand. Thank you very much. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Goodbye.